Landlording 101, qualifying applicants. Now, this is huge. I'm sure we could go for days and days on qualifying, whether it's the systems that you're using or the what you're going to use as a checklist. I mean, this is something that we work on all the time, right? It has to be improved as technology improves. Scammers are extremely prevalent, and I can't stress that enough. They are out there. They are ready to take advantage of you. And if you don't have the systems in place uh, to properly vet uh, as simple as a driver's license, which are fake all the time, yep. uh, then then you, you've got to hire somebody who does have those, those systems in place. But qualifying applications. Mike, let's go. I mean, boy, this is, again, as I mentioned, kind of in the intro, I think that we could probably do its own video just on this. So we'll try to keep it as informative as we can without going too, too deep. But you mentioned it, I think nowadays, uh, and it's really more prevalent in the last year or two than I've ever seen, but fake applications, fake scammers, or sorry, fake scammers, fake IDs, fake pay stubs. I mean, you can get all this online. I mean, people advertise this. This is a business where they yeah. will provide you with a job history, pay stubs, uh, fake IDs. I mean, they're so good that you can look like you're holding it like this, like you're actually holding it and it, I mean, it looks really good. They're really hard to detect. So yeah, I would say that probably the number one thing is is having systems in place to be able to detect um, fake IDs and fake scammers. It's probably number one for us. I know that we invest a lot in uh, technology, time, money, uh, effort to weeding these guys out because they're they're good and they're getting better day by day. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, I mean... There's so many different areas when you're when you're qualifying an application and it's hard to pick which pillars that we should talk about here today yeah. in this quick informative class here. But I mean, aside from just the, the credit. Um, so, well, I mean, well, let's just cover a couple. So a couple items of interest that you should for sure be looking at when you're qualifying an application is, of course, right. It goes without saying their credit. Of course, you've got to be able to pull their credits. You've got to see what it looks like and you can base it on your own comfort level on what that looks like for you uh, and what what minimum credit score that you want to achieve uh, to place a tenant, but you gotta be pulling their credit. Their employment history, duh. I mean, you have to make sure that you can verify their income to confirm that they can afford the property that they're renting, right? I mean, our standard is certainly no less than three times the monthly rent to be able to qualify for a property, but you've gotta be able to verify their employment uh, in ways that we do that, just to mention, again, I want to try to keep from going down these rabbit holes, but ways that we do that is by uh, obtaining pay stubs, uh, bake statements. Mike, any others that immediately come to mind that you want to be sure to mention? Yeah, and I'm not sure that this would be available to you know your average homeowner. Uh, but again, kind of going back to the specialist theme, you know, one of the advantages that we have of being a property management company is that part of our application process is that we ask our applicants to provide a bank yeah. and uh, it, it links directly to the bank account. Yeah. And what that does is it, it verifies everything that they tell us on their application. So it verifies, do they make what they say they make and do they pay their rent? How much is their rent and do they pay it on time? And so, you know, a lot of that stuff used to have to be really, really manual. Like you're talking about the pay stubs and the bank statements, and we do still have to do that. Um, but, um, you know, when we can utilize that bank feed, oh my gosh, A, it's so much faster, B, it's so much more reliable than potentially those bank statements or whatever it is, you know, a scammer may do or whatever it is. But the the direct bank feed is a huge win for us. It makes life so much better, so much easier, it makes qualifying these, these applicants um, a lot more reliable. 